Hey, how's it going everyone? Outlaw Client here, back with another episode of Halo 4 Online Battles. And for this week, I finally managed to choose the map Vortex, a map that I've actually been trying to choose for like the last four or so weeks, but with other maps like Ragnarok and you know just other bigger maps, people tend to like stay away from this map. I don't know why, I quite like it, but again, like I was saying, I just don't really seem to get it all that often. But anyway, so in this match, like you've seen in my previous, was it my previous one or the one before that? I'm not sure, but I didn't get to start like right from the beginning. So as you can see, the opponent already had quite a, well, the opponent had already got quite a, a bit ahead of our team. And as soon as I jumped in, I was like straight in the action, but I got killed straight away. And as you're about to see here, I'm about to fall prey of the stomp. Yeah, the <laughs> the uh, legendary stomp. Just don't try and run too close to that mantis. But the problem is, is that I ran. Well, I I actually saw the the button pop up, and I was like, no way, I'm not I'm not giving, gonna give it up. I'm never gonna give you up. But um, no, I tried to run close to it. I saw the button pop up, but I couldn't quite get to it. So yeah, I should have just like turned around turned around and made my tactical retreat like usual. But anyway, it's done. So whatever. So this guy and this ghost tried to ram me, and unfortunately, I was just so. I was just so constant. I was concentrating on that ghost so much that I didn't even see the other guy on the radar. And of course, the inevitable happened, and I got shot down. But luckily, since I managed to uh, find finally find out that I could change my loadout, because for a second I thought it was like Pro Slayer or something. But once I found out you could change my loadout, back to the carbine for me, baby. Well, it was mostly for the plasma pistol this time, because I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but. This map has such a huge amount of vehicles, as you can see, the Mantis, you know, the man the Mantai, and um, the Ghosts and all that, so uh, yeah, vehicle heaven, I guess, if you really like your vehicles, you know, your, your vehicles. But um, no, so I managed to get revenge there by taking out that Mantis. I, I just couldn't let it stand, but luckily I managed to uh, EMP, EMP that guy, so I could like stun him for a second and take him out and that's what I was saying in the previous uh, matches you know don't never doubt that plasma pistol because you know you get a plasma pistol you see an enemy and you know stuff's gonna get crazy mate so anyway as you saw that I accidentally hit my teammate uh, wasn't me it just wasn't me <laughs> but luckily I managed to redeem myself there by assassinating well not assassinating but managing to get a hit on that guy and taking him out once his shield was shields were down so uh, yeah a bit of a kill still there uh, so kill steal, but you know who really cares? Only the person that lowered his shields. But anyway, so I thought I'd go on a little journey with my uh, machine gun turret. Jesus Christ, what was I thinking? It's just so slow and it's, it's all right, I guess. But when you want to get around a map like this, I mean, the size of this map is just it's, it's crazy. You know, it's really not going to work if you run around in that, with that turret. So anyway, I ditched the turret and I decided to take this. Uh, little cave secret pathway I guess I could see on my radar this guy was incoming I thought if I just crouch you know use the standard crouch to hide from the radar I might be able to you know get a one up on this guy and luckily it managed to work I mean I did nearly get taken out by that grenade but all was well and I managed to survive so this guy trying to play peekaboo with me just like that guy in the previous game but luckily I wasn't having any of that mate so I managed to take him out he was doing the classic Spartan jump guys listen just just keep your feet on the ground if anything yeah, but um, thought I'd retreat to under the bridge like a troll, and it didn't quite work. You know, at that point when the guy didn't shoot straight away, I thought, oh, you know, maybe he can't see me, maybe I've got active camouflage or something. But of course, there is no active camouflage in this mode, so the guy just came up to me and sucker punched me right in the face. <laughs> yeah, lovely. So I managed to get two of those kills, was it two? Yeah, I managed to get two of those kills there, and it's mostly because those guys just completely focused on that mantis behind me. I mean, come on, guys! I'm standing right in front of you. Why? Why are you gonna go? Why are you gonna go and do that? <laughs> no, but seriously, why? They just completely missed me, and you know, I managed to take them out. So even now, I managed to take out this. Well, I managed to uh, EMP blast this guy and take out yet another mantis with a grenade. There, there we go. Oh, <laughs> and even his friend there. You know, actually, funnily enough, now that I look back at this video, I thought that I actually shot the guy when his uh, shields were down, but looking closely, I think it was the Mantis, the explosion from the Mantis that actually took him out. So, uh, yeah, that's a nice little bonus there. Nice to see a Spartan flying like that. But, um, anyway, so this time I managed to retreat underneath the bridge and actually restore some health, so that was a nice one. Luckily I didn't get sucker punched this time. 
But as soon as I went back to the uh, upper section, I just noticed that every single person and their grandmother was in the center, so I wouldn't be catching a break anytime soon. But shooting that guy, I sort of wasted a lot of my ammo. I didn't really check my ammo count, so I thought I was like close to empty, but I wasn't. Well, now that I look back at it now, I, I could have taken that guy out if I kept on shooting. But anyway, what's done is done. So, as soon as I respawned, I luckily managed to uh, get that Banshee. Well, there you go, mate. Well, close the door on the way out, please. Thank you. But um, yeah, I managed to jack that banshee off of the guy using the EMP blast yet again, and of course uh, hijacked his ride so I can go on my little banshee killing spree. Hopefully. So there we go. There's my first vehicle kill of the day. Quite quite satisfying actually to shoot that. You know, it's not it's not just a plasma cannon. It, that is concentrated apple juice, mate. Concentrated apple juice. <laughs> I think you now you've got an excuse for your parents not to tell your parents not to drink apple juice, you know, that concentrated apple juice can kill you. So anyway, get out of my banshee, was going for that incineration cannon, and of course I just had to get run over by my own teammate, who then goes on to get jacked, to get his ride jacked, so I'm not sure what that guy was doing, maybe he had a change of heart, he actually wanted to be on the red team, yeah, I, I don't know what was going on. But anyway, luckily, very, very luckily, I managed to take out that guy on the turret. And if you've seen my previous videos, you know that my luck with turrets isn't exactly the greatest. So, uh, a very lucky break for me there. But here we go, managed to pick up that sweet, oh so sweet incineration cannon. And, again, it's a gun, like I was saying in the previous video, it's a gun that you don't really see all that often. And what a better way to test it out than on this unsuspecting guy. Uh, a bit of, a bit of overkill there, but... You know, I think you should save the ammo for this to like kill a group of people because, as you can see, when the grenades explode, it you know it has a bit of a spread, just like now. That lovely double kill. Was gonna fire it on this guy, but of course I sort of ran out of ammo. Well, I ran out of cl a clip there. I had to recharge, so I couldn't quite hit him uh, shoot fast enough. So I had to just melee attack him again. And oh god, watch out, guys! A fail is coming up very, very shortly with one ammo. One bit of one round of ammo left. Can I finish the job? Well, at least I didn't get stomped. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it was quite bad there. I mean, my recommendation is that if you're gonna shoot at one of those large vehicles, uh, aim for the ground because you know, the the um the splash damage will most probably take you out. But anyway, managed to pick up another incineration cannon. I'm getting quite lucky with my respawns today. But, let's go guys. Oh, up, up, up and away. If he would even drive, that is. At first I thought he was just waiting for that other guy, but now he's still going slow, so... Um, yeah, I don't know what he was doing. I had to abandon ship there. I, I don't know if he was trying to... I don't know, reenact the scene of Baywatch in a vehicle or something. I have no idea, but it was too slow for me. So anyway, creeped up on this guy. Um, he obviously wasn't paying attention to his radar because I pretty much just ran straight in front of that guy and I'm still in disbelief that I managed to take him out. But anyway, here's a vehicle, the perfect place where this is designed. And as you, you saw that guy disintegrate, didn't you guys? You saw that guy disintegrate there. And unfortunately, I just couldn't reload in time. I was taken out by that war warthog cannon. And the thing is, is that when I saw that guy disintegrate in the background, I straight away, I thought that was the guy from the turret because, you know, I just thought has to be the guy but of course it wasn't and the guy, other guy was still in the turret so a um, bit unlucky there but I managed to get another EMP blast and look at the scores it's getting very close to the end 970 to 710 EMP this guy yet again and finally finished it off with an explosion so big I'm sure Michael Bay would be proud of me but anyway there we go that's the match for today so quite a satisfying another satisfying uh, lead victory and overall really nice match I managed to come out on top even though I joined a bit late so that was quite quite a nice match as I said but anyway thanks a lot for watching guys if you enjoyed this please leave a comment like and subscribe and hang around for until next time and until then I'll see you later peace out